Former President Noynoy Aquino criticizes President Rodrigo Duterte's administration over the shutdown of media giant ABS-CBN. Aquino says, quote, This administration has put itself into a corner unnecessarily. If there is significant and sustained support for the reopening of ABS-CBN, it will happen. During his term, there was no concrete policy or action against the media. But there was a time when he publicly criticized former Vice President Noli De Castro and TV Patrol, the network's flagship newscast. President Rodrigo Duterte repeatedly attacked the Philippine Daily Inquirer, Rappler, and ABS-CBN for their critical reporting, especially on his bloody drug war. He has been engaged in a long-running feud with ABS-CBN over his unaired campaign ads in 2016 and has repeatedly threatened to block their franchise. In related news, four framers of the 1987 Constitution say the National Telecommunication Commission's closure order against ABS-CBN goes against the country's charter. Felicitas Arroyo, Florangel Rosario Braid, Ed Garcia, and Christian Monsod, who participated in the drafting of the Constitution post-martial law, say the order comes at the worst of times as the nation battles the coronavirus pandemic. In a statement, the framers say the NTC action runs contrary to the mandate of the Constitution on the freedom of speech and of the press. A document obtained by ABS-CBN News shows Solicitor General Jose Calida threatened to sue NTC officials for graft if they issued the network a provisional permit. (laughs) 